In this video, we'll look at the topic of drawing Lewis structures for ions. The first element that I've selected for us to take a look at is oxygen, located right here on the periodic table. Oxygen, as an atom, has a total of six valence electrons. I'll draw those in right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. When oxygen forms an ion, it will do so by gaining electrons. This will allow the oxygen atom to complete its octet. So the ion form is still going to have the six electrons that we drew in before. And I'll just do some color coding. We'll draw in those newly added electrons in blue so that we can differentiate. There's really no difference. An electron is an electron. Just showing that those are the new electrons, which give this particle its new charge of minus two. Where is this charge coming from? The oxygen ion still has eight protons. We're getting that from the atomic number on the periodic table. Now this is a particle which has ten electrons because of the addition of the two electrons to form the stabilized oxygen ion that has a minus two charge and a full octet. Non-metallic elements will tend to form ions by gaining electrons. The halogens gain one electron. Oxygen family members gain two electrons. Nitrogen family members gain three electrons. So that we can see all of these will have negative charges based on how many electrons are being gained. Metals will form ions by losing electrons. Let's look at the example of sodium. Sodium starts out with a single valence electron. When it forms an ion, it will lose that electron gaining a positive one charge. And let's draw in that electron which is being lost. Now let's consider why this is happening. Sodium starts out with an electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. The one valence electron which is being lost is that electron from the 3s sublevel. What's left behind is a stable noble gas electron configuration. The final thing that we want to take a look at will be the topic of polyatomic ions. Polyatomic means that there are multiple atoms joining together to form an ion, a charged particle. One example would be hydroxide. This is an ion which has an oxygen single bonded to a hydrogen atom. There will be additional electrons here to fill out the octet for the oxygen. Six valence electrons came from oxygen. One came from hydrogen. There's one additional electron to complete the octet, which will give this structure an overall charge of minus one. Another example of a polyatomic ion is the ammonium ion. Now nitrogen has five valence electrons. Hydrogens each have one. So we would predict nine valence electrons for the ammonium ion. However, the ammonium ion has a plus one charge. So we only need eight electrons to draw this Lewis structure. That means that we'll have a central nitrogen atom, which has single bonds to four atoms of hydrogen. And once again, I'm going to put square brackets around this structure and the plus sign will be written outside here. This lets us know that the plus charge is distributed over the entire structure, just as the minus charge is distributed over the entire structure, the oxygen and the hydrogen, which are bonded together. So again, to sum up, we have a total of eight valence electrons in the hydroxide ion, six from oxygen, one from hydrogen, one additional electron to give us the minus one charge. In the ammonium ion, there were five valence electrons from nitrogen, one from each hydrogen. One valence electron was removed in order to give us the plus one charge for this polyatomic ion.